Greetings blokes, Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions. So, today, we're going to talk about what is a USB DAC and how to choose one. So without further ado, let's get rolling, shall we? What is a USB DAC? What is a DAC? A DAC is a digital to analog converter, converting the digital ones and zeros that your computer understands into the analog sound that your brain understands. So, that's a basic rudimentary way of looking at it, and that's it. Goodbye. Just kidding, bloke. Sit the f back and chill. So some DACs function as ID converters, converting the analog signal into digital. So an example of this would be the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. Um, so when you're screaming obscenities into your microphone, demeaning women, talking about how much bling you have, and how many people you've murdered, and calling it rap, I got bling, man. I got money. I went double plat. Yeah, see these grills? Double platinum. Yeah, I went double platinum. I got dollar signs, trade dollar signs. I kill all y'all. Your computer gets sad and offended, but that doesn't distract it from its primary goal. The primary goal, you ask, that is um, sending your voice in the form of analog across your motherboard uh, into your computer, basically, and it then converts into digital, so you can um, further modify and edit it later on down the road. This is going to be a continuation off of um, one of the other videos in the series, so uh, DAC measurements, but I'm going to kind of fully flesh it out a little bit more. How to choose a DAC. Now, this is pretty simple, but a lot of the time, you know, people will ask um, what's better when they don't, they don't really give any, anything else for uh, you to work off of. So there's a lot of things that go into uh, choosing an amp, or choosing a DAC, rather. Um, and some are amps and DAX, but um, there's a lot more things that go into it other than just is this DAC good? Um, it's one of the most common questions that I get personally on the channel. You have to sort of think a little ahead about what you're going to need the DAC for, etc. So, so I've put together a list of eight things that you should consider first um, before purchasing a DAC. Some questions that you should ask yourself like how much are you looking to spend? Uh, this is fairly uh, easy one, but it is important because it helps narrow down uh, your options. Uh, there are a lot of good DACs in the $100 to $300 range. There are some very good DACs below $100, like the E10K is very good. Definitely probably my most recommended here if you're just starting out because it, it pairs well with uh, the majority of headphones and it provides enough power into most uh, impedance loads. E even uh, headphones like the HD600, it will drive fairly well uh, with gain on. The second thing on the list uh, is are you looking to buy a combo amp DAC or purchase the two separate? Now, I'd personally rather buy an amp DAC combo, but I, I have had very good success uh, with using them separate. So, for instance, I use a DAC Magic 100 with a JDS Labs Objective 2, and that sounded really, really good. Um, I've used a Magni Modi combo. I've used uh, Dragonfly Red into another DAC or into another amp. I've used the E10K into another amp. I've used the K3 into another amp. The list just goes on and on. So there's a lot of different uh, combinations that you could theoretically use. And um, so let's say you bought a an E10K, which is an amp DAC, but you wanted to upgrade amps later because you need a little bit more power. You could always just buy a separate amp like the Objective 2 or the Atom. Or something like that so in that sense some amp DACs are very versatile um, because they function you know they're sort of a multi-tool they function in uh, more ways than just one so they're not limited um, by what you can do with them I personally find that DACs with amps and DACs with line out are very very useful in studio because I can just mix and match uh, however I want for instance right now I'm running a the Dragonfly Red into the Bravo Ocean, um, courtesy of Intuit Reviews. Thank you for sending me that ocean. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot of different things you can do. You could also just go with a combo amp DAC like the Audio Engine D1, uh, an E10K, a Dragonfly Red is a combo amp DAC, uh, a Black Label is a combo amp DAC, what else? An Oppo HA2. There's just, the list goes on and on. So. Uh, Cord Mojo. It just it just really depends. Do you would you rather hook them up separately or would you rather um, just buy one and be done with it? Like the Zen is a combo amp DAC and it's very very affordable. 
and really kind of uh, out muscles a lot of the uh, other amps and DACs that are on the market right now. The K5 Pro is also a combo amp DAC, which is um, also great for console gaming. So we'll get into that in a second. So yeah, number three, will you be using an amp DAC for console gaming? So going off of that last point, uh, you will need an amp that supports um, optical in. So the K5 Pro, like I said, does have optical in. It's actually my primary console gaming rig right now with the K702. It sounds really, really mar marvelous. It sounds really marvelous. Yeah, so that you'll, you'll want to keep that in mind. Do you plan on doing any console gaming? Do you plan on doing PC gaming? With PC gaming, you won't need optical. Obviously, you just uh, use a USB port. But yeah, so number four, are you running Tidal, Spotify, or a different program? Some DACs are specifically made to run Tidal MQA. So the Cobalt, uh, Dragonfly Cobalt is an example, the Dragonfly Red. Um, the Zen DAC is also an example of amps and DACs that are specifically made to run uh, MQA. So with the Zen, you just have to do a firmware update. With the Dragonflies, basically you just plug and play, but always make sure that you set, um, in the settings, set uh, the Dragonflies to exclusive mode. You'll see a little button uh, next to it in the um, in settings, and you'll just click that and uh, tick the tick the button, and that will enable MQA to come through. If you don't do that, your the color will stay on either green or some other color. Like with the cobalt, it stays on blue, uh, and l until you uh, make that switch, and then. You're good to go. Yeah, for, for uh, amps and DACs that you want to run with Tidal, I would suggest those two first, uh, the, the Dragonfly Red or the uh, IFI Zen. So what kind of inputs, number five, what kind of inputs or outputs do you need? RCA, line, etc. Do you need to output to separate speakers or studio monitors? This is kind of a, a big one because a lot of different amps have different connections. Uh, the Fio K5 Pro is a great example of a an amp DAC that does a lot of different things, so it has uh, RCA line ins, it has RCA line out, so two pairs. It also has um, optical in, like I mentioned, and USB, as well as an S uh, coaxial input. So just a lot of different uh, options with that. So you can output it to separate speakers or monitors if you want. You can use it with a wireless DAC like the Zen Blue. You can use it with any other DAC that supports um, RCA line out. And yeah, you can just straight up plug it into your um, computer and, and, and play immediately. So just a lot of different things. You, something that you definitely want to keep in mind before you purchase, like what do you need it to do uh, within your own uh, studio space or your own home listening environment? Will you be playing DSD files? A lot of newer amps support these formats. Now, personally, I don't really care about DSD. I mean, I've, I've heard DSD files. Um, I'll, I've tested a lot of them with the Zen specifically, um, and I just don't find like you can you can reproduce DSD formats can be reproduced by formats that aren't DSD. So the problem with DSD also is that you have to pay for most of the files. Like um, I was able to get quite a few different um, free files and and run them through Ottervana connected with Tidal. So I kind of really do like Ottervana because you can see it shows you on the bottom left I think or right uh, exactly what format you're in whereas title does not so I would highly recommend Ottervana the only problem is it does cost uh, I did a free trial yeah a lot of amps do max out at 2496 but keep in mind that 2496 is basically all you need I mean I don't want to really get into this I really don't so I'm not I don't want to get into this with you man why not A lot of a lot of amps end up resampling down back to 96, and um, I would say bit depth is more important. Um, the 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 amount of information that you get. Yes, uh, sample rate is important. How fast it's uh, sampling that information, but the human range of hearing. I mean, you're not gonna hear much above 48k. You're not gonna hear anything above 48k, to be honest. So 2496 is my barometer for. Um, a good listening experience probably the majority of files that you listen to are, are only going to be around that anyway if that if not that they're, they're just going to be flack which is 44 or 48 so it doesn't 
all that stuff is overrated in my opinion. Yeah, number eight, do you wanna run wireless? Like I mentioned earlier, some DACs like the IFI Zen Blue can be used wirelessly with your phone. I used uh, one with the K5 like I mentioned. And that's that's basically uh, about it. You wanna you wanna go through all those options and then narrow down what you need, and, and it'll be much easier to do so when you have those things in mind. So um, yeah, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review discussion. Leave me some love down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel. Hit that Patreon link down below. And last but not least, don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Check, check. Check, 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 check. Review brought to you by Stu. Here's the coda. I'm nasty on the mic. Call me warm soda. Yeah. Chopped up this beat real fine, like cold produce. Yeah. Steady in my veggies so I can focus. On my David Copperfield, y'all hocus pocus. A little loopy when I wrote this. Esoteric dopeness. Cultivating the will of a soldier. Fighting through the pain like Dooku. I told ya, sold you on my style. Snapping on cats like Private Pile. I get semi wild. Everyone in a while, 911 on the dial, alone at the top with no rival, dark is my world without a bible, without God's love there's no survival, so my mindset is tribal, yeah, my mindset is tribal, yeah, yeah. my mindset is tribal. Yeah. yeah. Put my grill back in. I'm gonna put my grill back in. Yeah, triple platinum. You're gonna test me. Don't test. Don't test me. Homie, test me. Come test me. I got hot cars. <laughs> I got bitches. I got hoes. You see that teddy bear? That's hardcore. Yeah. What? But we know you faking. <laughs>